told you, you're not welcome here. You're not welcome anywhere. Now get the fuck out of my bar. Just give me one more drink and then I'll leave. Hi, Peanut. I'm gonna need you to come with me right now. So pretty much everyone and their dogs are aware that Blake Lively will be in Deadpool and Wolverine, playing Ladypool. Or we could just call her Lady Deadpool. Reynolds' real-life wife is joining the pool too. Here's the scoop. This film's rumored to be packed with cameos and appearances from Marvel comic characters and actors across the multiverse. It's even paving the way for a solo Lady Deadpool movie in the MCU. Let's dive into the details. A recent teaser hints at this female merc with a mouth making her debut. Speculation has been swirling for months, including potential casting choices, and given the multiverse narrative of Deadpool and Wolverine, it seems inevitable that different versions of Wade Wilson will show up. In the comics, Lady Deadpool draws inspiration from Ryan Reynolds' real-life wife Blake Lively, making her a fitting choice for the MCU adaptation. If Blake Lively appears as Lady Pool in Deadpool and Wolverine, it marks the beginning of her solo adventure in the MCU. Lady Pool, whose story originates from Earth-3010, first appeared in comics in 2010 and has been a rumored character for movie adaptations since 2016's Deadpool. Created by Victor Gishler and Rob Liefeld, this multiversal version of Wade Wilson has been prominently featured in comics like Lady Deadpool vs. General America and Deadpool Corps. On Earth-3010, Lady Pool joins an uprising against the Loyalist government of the U.S., with much of her conflict centered around General America, a variant of Captain America aligned with the government. Her motivations are partly driven by a crush on Charles Randolph, adding depth to her character akin to Wade Wilson's humorous yet complex personality. Lady Pool shares Deadpool's irreverent humor and has faced similar challenges, including battling cancer. Originally depicted with scars, her appearance has evolved over time. Blake Lively's potential portrayal of Lady Pool connects interestingly with her past involvement in crafting Deadpool's humor. This debut in Deadpool and Wolverine could set the stage for exploring Lady Pool's unique narrative within the MCU. If Blake Lively turns out to be Lady Deadpool in Deadpool and Wolverine, she would be an ideal choice for several compelling reasons. Firstly, Lively is known for her strong presence and versatility on screen, which she's showcased in numerous recent roles. Seeing her take on the comedic and action-packed role of Lady Deadpool would be a fresh and exciting departure for her. Despite the challenges faced by the 2011 Green Lantern movie, one of its highlights was the chemistry between Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively as Hal Jordan and Carol Ferris. Their reunion in a successful comic book franchise like Deadpool and Wolverine would be a redemption of sorts, especially for fans who wanted to see more of their dynamic after Green Lantern. In the context of Deadpool and Wolverine's multiverse narrative, Lively's portrayal of Lady Deadpool could bring a unique and humorous twist to the character. Holding back Lively's debut in the Deadpool franchise until the trilogy's conclusion would add a significant surprise element especially if her involvement remained under wraps until the film's release. With the movie's release just around the corner, MCU fans will soon discover if Lady Deadpool is indeed making her cinematic debut in Deadpool and Wolverine, and whether Blake Lively will be the one to embody this iconic character on screen. As for the powers Blake Lively would wield as Lady Pool, according to comics, Wanda Wilson shares Wade's mutant ability of regeneration. Unlike Wade, however, she doesn't bear his trademark deformed appearance. She boasts superhuman speed, reflexes, and immunity to various forces such as telepathy and disease, much like Deadpool from Earth-616. In most respects, Wanda's powers mirror Wade's, but she's often portrayed as a more stable and composed version of the Merc with a Mouth. Her training during the uprising against General America and the U.S. government has honed her combat skills beyond Deadpool's. Ladypool's experience in resistance forces has made her adept with pistols and katanas, particularly in team-based combat scenarios, elevating her to a formidable fighter. Her stability and less distorted appearance have earned her admiration and occasional consideration as a team leader, even over Deadpool himself. However, she's generally perceived to have slightly less physical strength than her male counterpart. 
In Deadpool and Wolverine, Wanda Wilson's role as Lady Deadpool is likely to be relatively small. The film revolves around a multiverse-hopping adventure, with Deadpool and Wolverine teaming up to save the universe. Given the meta-narrative of Disney's acquisition of Fox and the integration of Marvel properties, there's speculation that the storyline will consolidate around Earth-616's Deadpool as the primary variant in the MCU. The trailer hints at encounters with the TVA and various multiversal iterations, including characters like Cassandra Nova, suggesting a complex narrative involving different versions of heroes. Lady Deadpool fits into this framework as a fresh take on the Wade Wilson character. Her background of battles and allegiances, reminiscent of the Deadpool core comic storyline, makes her a natural ally in the fight alongside Marvel's heroes. Alternatively, the film could explore Lady Deadpool as an antagonist, drawing inspiration from the Deadpool Kills Deadpool arcs. This dual potential highlights the versatility of Wanda Wilson's character and her possible impact within the evolving MCU multiverse narrative. The tease of Lady Deadpool in the MCU hints at the potential introduction of other members of the Deadpool core, as seen in the comics, where Deadpool assembles a team to combat a multiversal threat. This team includes characters like Lady Deadpool, Dogpool, Kidpool, and others, often with multiversal variations. With trailers already showing Dogpool and Lady Deadpool, and the plot of Deadpool and Wolverine resembling the Deadpool core storyline, it's plausible that other iterations like Headpool could also join the fray. However, the comics history suggests a grim outcome for the Deadpool core, as they typically meet unfortunate ends. This doesn't bode well for Lady Deadpool and her multiversal counterparts in the MCU, indicating they might not persist beyond their introduction. Similar to the X4 scene in Deadpool 2, where characters are swiftly disposed of, this pattern may repeat with the Deadpool core in the MCU. Nevertheless, whether she appears in Deadpool and Wolverine or a future MCU installment, Lady Deadpool has compelling narrative potential. Marvel's trend of exploring variant characters, as seen in Loki and teased in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, suggests Wanda Wilson could find her place in the evolving MCU landscape. After Deadpool and Wolverine wraps up its storyline, Marvel may consider a solo Ladypool movie as a way to honor Ryan Reynolds' legacy in the MCU, while expanding her role beyond just team-ups. Ladypool holds significant prominence in MCU comics, making her potential solo debut a compelling next step. The timing aligns with Marvel's reboot strategy, reminiscent of the approach seen with the Loki series, but potentially carrying higher stakes for the MCU. Disney's recent updates, including a focus on quality over quantity and reining in MCU releases, suggest a deliberate shift. As Deadpool ties up loose ends from Deadpool 2 in his current adventure, Lady Pool could step in to explore new narratives and expand the Deadpool universe. Ryan Reynolds' commitment to Deadpool, even outside of films, underscores his influence on the character's popularity and marketing appeal. Parting ways with Deadpool in the MCU wouldn't just impact fans, but could also affect the franchise's commercial momentum. Therefore, introducing Lady Pool could bridge continuity, honoring what came before while setting the stage for fresh adventures in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Moreover, the timing of the MCU's reboot is a significant factor, especially for characters like Lady Deadpool entering during this soft reboot phase. Similar to the approach seen with the Loki series, this reboot signals a strategic shift by Disney towards quality over quantity in their MCU offerings. Recent updates from Disney, including a slowdown in releases and a focus on established franchises, reinforce this direction. Insiders like Joanna Robinson have hinted at a major MCU reboot potentially centered around Avengers Secret Wars. This ambitious move aims to streamline the MCU by refining its storytelling and focusing on what resonates most with audiences. It's a response to critiques about the franchise's direction and the challenges of managing a vast array of characters post-Infinity Saga. For characters like Ladypool, this reboot could provide a fresh start and a chance to integrate seamlessly into the evolving MCU landscape, ensuring their stories align with the renewed narrative vision of Marvel Studios. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.
Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.